Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's question is from one of my subscribers here on YouTube. And she wants to know, why did a guy that I was dating for two months block me out of the blue? He just stopped contacting me and we were doing really well together and now there's nothing. This is becoming sort of a common scenario. People don't take ownership of when they've, they're done with the relationship. They decide they're just going to leave and walk away from it without even a word. So nobody has any closure. So everybody's being ghosted all over the place. They're giving themselves to somebody for a couple of months. Yes, it's not a long time, but it's long enough to start having feelings for somebody, especially if you're seeing them all the time. So in a scenario like this, it leaves you without any kind of connection at all to be able to even ask them why, what happened. If they cut off all ties of communication with you, how are you supposed to have your own self-esteem sort of discussion and, and figure out what's going on in your own head? So unfortunately, it took two months for him to show his true character. There might have been a few red flags that you kind of pushed out of the way while you were dating him. Maybe he didn't text you a lot. Maybe he didn't contact you a lot. There's usually signs before somebody just bails on you like this. So. I know this isn't going to help you right now, but it will in the future if you pay close attention to how somebody treats you early on. If they're not connecting with you or they take days to respond to you, those are all indicators that they're just going to one day bail on you. They don't sort of all of a sudden become better. If they like you and they're interested in you in the beginning, they usually show it. Their true character comes out by how they treat you early on. So pay close attention to that. Right now, your ego's taking a little bit of a, a bruising because it is hurtful when someone just walks away. Like, you feel like, you know, what did I mean to this person? Nothing at all, that they can't even give me a two-minute explanation as to why they're moving on. Blocking somebody is so cutthroat, it makes you feel like you're, you're not worthy of their attention. You're not worthy of what happened for the last two months and what did it mean. So you sit and you, th you start analyzing all these things in your own head going, well, did I mean anything to this person that I could just walk away like this? Don't worry about how they're looking at the situation. Look at it that you dodged a bullet here, okay? I know it's two months of your time, but as I said a few minutes ago, there probably were some indicators that this could take place down the road just by how they treated you in those two months. If everything was just beautiful, perfect, and there's no explanation for it, there's probably somebody else that was in the picture. The problem with today with dating and online and all these apps is there is a lot more ways to connect with people now. So majority of people that are not committed or, or exclusively committed to somebody will be dating two or three people. And so what happens if one person comes along and they're a little bit more, you know, what they're looking for, they'll just end the other things that they've been doing on the side. And you could have been one of those people. Now that doesn't make anything better, but unfortunately that is what's going on. So if you want to sort of slow down on how you get to know somebody and not invest so much in them, take your time getting to know them. Don't put so much energy into one person in those first two months. Even if you really, really like somebody, that's okay. You don't have to see them all the time in the beginning. You want to miss them. You want to keep the mystery alive and you want them to, to have the same feelings towards you. So slow things down because when people are just walking away and bailing on each other like this, there's not a lot of substance that's formed within the, that relationship in those two months. If there was, they couldn't just walk away. They'd want to at least tell you why they're moving on. For them just to basically slam the door, they, they don't respect you. They don't respect themselves either for that matter. But you want somebody that you can always count on. And if, if you don't connect with each other, that you at least have the courtesy to express that sit down, talk to each other about it. So don't be too hard on yourself. Like, what did, do, what did I do wrong? Oh my God, why did they just leave? I must have done something terrible for them just to walk away. Unfortunately, it's happening a lot. Try not to be too 
critical about who you are. That's them. That's their character. You don't want to be with somebody like that. I know it hurts right now and that's not going to help hearing that. But please promise me next time that you go, when you go on a date with somebody, take your time, get to know them. Don't give out too much information about yourself. Hold back a little bit so that you can learn to trust them. Because if they can walk away that quickly, there was something right away that was there that you missed. And this is something, if you sit back and you take your time getting to know somebody, you will see who they are in an authentic way. You won't see just who they're trying to be or what they're putting out there to, to look good and to keep the dates coming towards them. You want somebody who's real. So I'm sorry this happened to you, but all of you out there who are getting blocked from people, try not to miss them because they showed you who they truly are. And you don't want somebody like that. You really don't. And even if they're going through something or having a tough time, they could at least have sent you a, a quick note and just said, look, I'm sorry, I'm not doing well right now. I can't be in a relationship, goodbye. Something, no matter what, but at least a communication. Blocking you is very final. So make it final in your heart as well. And say, thank you for showing me who you are in those first two months that I'm not gonna spend my life in a bad relationship with. So thank them and move on. Thank you everyone for coming to Dear Cyber Sue. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Please leave your comments and send me any show topics you'd like me to do. I'm always open to suggestions. Thanks so much everyone. Bye-bye.